Hello everyone. A very good afternoon to all of you. Dear students, as you know, we are discussing a well-known poem of Robert Frost, A Roadside Stage. So far we have completed two stages of this poem and I hope you well understand the basic theme, the concept of this poem. It is the contradiction between the village life and the urban life. Actually, what is the attitude of urban people, so-called civilized people, aristocratic people of the society towards the poor villagers? We have completed the two stanza, and right now I would like to tell you uh, or discuss the third or the fourth stage of this poem. So, what you have to do, just uh, look each and every word, keep concentrate, write down the meaning of the words, try to understand the phrases, because it may helpful for you while you are solving the questions. And even though it is very important point, you may find uh, any stanza from the poem as well. So keep all these things in mind. Let's start the third stage of this point. See, it is in the news. that all these pitiful king are to be bought out and mercifully and mercifully gathered in. Students see, it is in the news, it is in the media, or it is in the public domain, that right now, these pitiful king, these poor farmers, he means relatives, the family of this poor farmer, may be established somewhere else, or to be bought out, Bahami Kalazai Genko, and mercifully gathered in. They will be gathered mercifully. See, the next sentence says, to live in villages to live in villages next to the theatre next to the theatre and the store. and the stop. We have the we have they won't have to think won't have to think for themselves. Anymore. See it is in the news it is the fact, it is being heard that all these pitiful kin, all these poor farmers, along with their families, are to be bought out. They will be pushed out, mercifully gathered in. They will be collected, they will be gathered. And they will be left near the village, big village, near to the theatres and the big storehouses. You know, these are the places where they may be settled. And who here wants that these people may be settled near the theatre houses or big, uh, big farm or storehouses? It is the businessmen. It is the so-called aristocratic people of the society because they want benefit from them. They didn't want that these people may be think about themselves anymore. These people always have a single want, single curvings that they want benefits from these poor people. They wanted to exploit them. That's why what they want in the name of their progress, so-called progress, they wanted to befold them and what they do, they mercifully gather there and after that they may be left 
near the village, next to the theater, and uh, near or surrounding of the big storehouses. We have there one have to think. What is the opinion of the poet? What is the what the opinion of the poet here? That we have their only intention would be how to live peacefully. This was the single carving for those poor people we have they established in near the theatre of storehouses. They, they have they can't able to think even themselves. So what is the news in the media? What is the news? What is the news in the public domain? That right now these businessmen or these so-called aristocratic people of the society will gather these poor people in a particular spot and where upon they would survive their entire life and they would not probably think about themselves. That what they should do for their progress. They are men handled by these businessmen, these, uh, you know, aristocratic people. So see, the next few sentences of the poem, see, sometimes uh, Wahil good doers. Beneficent is of prey. Strong over their lives. Over their lives. Enforcing benefits. Okay, that are calculated that are calculated to soothe them out of their pits. See here, that are calculated to soothe them out of their wits, which means wisdom, buddhi mata. Okay? Why good doers? One thing you have to learn, dear students, here that the greedy good doers, here the word you have to use, greedy. Greedy good doers, greedy can't be good doers. Greedy can't be good doers, one thing you have to learn. They are only the beast of prey. They just swim or congregate. Congregate, swim, mandrana, over their lives, over their lives enforcing benefits. That's very significant to say that while greedy good doers, greedy, here you have to adjust the word greedy, greedy good doers. But greedy can't be good to us. They just want the benefit. They are just want a kind people. They want to pretend to be the kind people. Very efficient things kind. Prokari. Beast of prey. Sikar karna chate. They wanted to gain the benefit from these people. And from congregate, mandrana, over their lives, unke jivan par, Enforcing benefits, benefit कमाने के लिए। आपको ये बात समझनी पड़ेगी यहाँ पर कि उन लोगों का वहाँ पर उनको gather करना, इकट्ठा करना, बेशक से वो pretend करते हैं उनकी lives को और ज़्यादा settle करने के लिए, वो ढूँढ करते हैं, दिखावा करते हैं according to the quite proper trust, but their only intention is to exploit them। ये उनकी intention है। Swim over their lives, enforcing benefits. That are calculated to so they calculate to ease them. So ease, relax. Out of their wits, which means wisdom. Buddhi mata se, apne jyan se. Unko batate hai ki tumhe kya karna chahiye, kya nahi karna chahiye, kya tumhe kis prakar ka kaam karna chahiye, kis prakar ka nahi karna chahiye. It is so called wisdom or the wits of these people. 
दिस अर्बन पीपल बट बिहाइंड ऑल द इफेक्ट देर इज ओनली वन थिंग यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर दैट दे वॉन्ट इनफोर्सिंग बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दिस पुअर पीपल सो टेक दी अनदर सेंटेंस इज यूर ऑन See the next, uh, you know, sentences. And by teaching, and by teaching them how to sleep, they sleep all day. They sleep all day. Okay, I am going to the next sentence of this file. Destroy their sleeping. Destroy their sleeping at night. At night, the ancient period. Okay. And by teaching them, or these people will teach them that how to sleep, they sleep all day. It is very magnificent sentence here. You have to understand, yes, friends, that they will give some proper things to these poor people, uh, and their intention is to capture the imagination to do something extraordinary, uh, the power to think. They wanted to demolish this by telling them, giving them something. Helpful to their little gods. Destroy their sleeping at night in the ancient way. In ancient way, the people, uh, you know, the people were out of work. They haven't any work. That's why they destroyed their sleeping at night. They didn't have a sound sleep because they hadn't do any hard labor. Hard labor करेंगे तभी रात्रि में अच्छे तरीके ढंग से वो सो पाएंगे. लेकिन यहाँ पर भी charity के नाम पर उनको कुछ देने के नाम पर उनको helping hand करने के नाम पर वो क्या करते हैं कि दे प्रोवाइड समथिंग एंड आफ्टर दैट दीज लाइफ ऑफ पीपल यू नो कॉन्ट इवन एबल टू टेक दी साउंड स्लीप एट नाइट जस्ट लाइफ इन दी एंशियंट मैन नाउ टेक दी नेक्स्ट सेंटेंस इज ये रॉन्ग Sometimes, see, sometimes I feel myself I can hardly hear. And let me remind you that this stanza is the most important in this poem. So you have to keep concentrate on the. Sentences each and every word. Sometimes I feel myself I can hardly bear the thought, the thought of so much, so much childish longing in vain. See, sometimes now the poet wants to express his feeling on the whole phenomena. You know, in the previous stanza, the first class business people, what they exploit the poor people is being seen. And here, this is the feeling of the poet. I feel myself, I can hardly bear. The poet wants to say that in the circumstances, What is being done for these poor people? He can't, uh, you know, bear all these things. The thought of so much childish longing. What is the childish longing? Bachkana icha, childish longing. What is the childish longing? Here, the childish longing is that these poor farmers, roadside stand owner, always expect someone to come there. And may purchase something from the roadside stand, but it is not 
in the mind of those urban people. They haven't purchased anything right from their own. It is their childish longing. Yeh unki bachkana ichcha hai. Or yeh bachkana ichcha in vain. Vain means vyaat ka bekaar. Bekaar ki ichcha hai. According to the poet. The poet wants to say that the thought of so much childish longing. They have the childish longing. The curvings. They expect that someone may stop there. And may purchase. And may they feel some of the city money in their hands. But this is the childish longing. It is the longing that can't be fulfilled. And it is in vain. Or ye vyart ki hai, vikar ki hai, ye kabhi puri nahi ho sakti hai. The sadness. Let's take it. The sadness that lurks. The sadness that lurks near the open window there. The sadness that lurks near the open window there, Udasi, that lurks, lurks means jalakti hai, dikhai deti hai, ek trikke se, open window se, khuli kirti se, there maha se, on si, jo roadside stand hai, uske paas se. That waits all day, that waits all day, in almost open prayer, in almost open prayer, open prayer means there is no hesitation at all to pray, to purchase something from their star. Okay, open prayer wo jo hai karte hai. Let's wait all day in almost an open pair for the still operates. For the stills of break. Still oti cheek lagna. Awadana cry hona break lagne ki. The sound of a stopping car. The sound of a stopping car. See, the sadness that lurk near the open window there, the sadness lurk, it is, you know, the part of, uh, you know, personify, the things have been personified here. Jo udasi hai unki, wo kuli khidki se, wa saat trikke se lurk karti hai, jalakti dikhai deti hai. Unki masumiyat zikhai dikhai deti hai. Wait all day. Pure din bar inzaar karte hai. Almost open prayer. Open prayer here, here means there is no hesitation. They haven't any, you know, type of hesitation to pray, to purchase something. And they just want that there must be a skill of breaks. What you mean by skill of breaks? Break lagne ki chief ki awadana, kaal rukne ki, stop hone ke dauran, jo awaz aati hai, us awaz ko sunne ke liye wo thrust rehte hai. The sound of a stopping car. कि कोई न कोई अर्बन पीपल की शहरी लोगों की कोई कार आकर के रुकेगी and these people must purchase something from their stall. Let's see the next few lines of this letter. See. Now, of all the selfish cars, of all the thousand thousand selfie stars that pass it is very important and uh, take word by word of all the thousand selfie stars that pass just one to inquire. Just one to inquire. Next line would be What have farmers' price are?
वॉट है फार्मर्स प्राइस इनकी कीमतें क्या है ये पूछने के लिए कोई वहां पर रुके एंड वन डिट स्टो सी एंड वन डिट स्टो बट ओनली टू ब्लो ऑफ ग्रास बट ओनली टू ब्लो ऑफ ग्रास फ्लो बी एलो डब्लू फ्लो फ्लो अप ग्रास घास को फ्लो करने के लिए कुदने के लिए उसको जो है एक तरीके से खराब करने के लिए स्पॉइल करने के लिए वहां पर रुकी है इन यूजिंग द यार्ड टू इन यूजिंग द यार्ड टू बैक एंड टर्न अराउंड बैक एंड टर्न अराउंड ओके एंड वन डिट स्टॉप यार्ड बैक एंड टर्न अराउंड ओके एंड अलेदर टू आस्क दी वे अलेदर टू आस्क दी वे टू वे हर इट वॉज बॉन्ड वे हर इट वॉज बॉन्ड ये रास्ता कहां पर जाएगा ये पूछने के लिए एक कार होती है एंड अलेदर टू आस्क एंड Rather to ask, would they sell it at a low price? Would they sell a gallon of gas? They couldn't. They couldn't. This costly. This costly. ये word पहले भी आया था. आपको ध्यान होगा. This costly. गुस्से के अभिव्यक्ति देते हुए एंगर को शो करते हुए दे हैड नन दे हैड नन इडेंट इट सी दिस इज द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट लाइन्स ऑफ दिस टेंडा सी ओ ओल दी थाउजेंड सल्फिस का हजारों की संख्या में जो सल्फिस का You know, it's a very important figure of speech here. Sulfis car, car can be sulfis, but here transport epithet is being used. Let me tell you, uh, don't worry about the figure of speeches at all. I would like to take up uh, uh, all the figure of speeches in one part of this point in later on. So, a single part of speech here, but I would like to tell you each and every part of speech here. All of these thousand sulfis car that pass. जस्ट वन टू इंक्वायर वॉट की फार्मर्स प्राइस आ देखिए यहां यह बताया गया है कि हजारों की संख्या में स्वार्थी जो कारें हैं सल्फिश जो कार है जो अपने स्वार्थ सिद्धि तक सीमित रहती हैं दे आर कंटेंटेड टू दे स्टॉप एयर बट यू नो वट इज द रीजन ऑफ स्टॉपिंग दी कार दे ओनली वॉन्टेड टू नो दी प्राइज ऑफ फार्मर्स मीन्स वट दे हैव Uh, in their roadside stand, and actually here the owner of this car just wanted to know exactly the price of those items, those things. And one did stop, one more car stopped there. But let me tell you, only to blow up grass, to spoil the grass, उस grass को खराब करने के लिए. Because there is a very magnificent, you know, surrounding near the roadside stand. Everything is well established. That's why. the one owner of the that particular uh, you know car just stop there and what these people do in using the yard they just try to use the yard back and turn around yani ki ek car wahan rukti hai wo kuch khareedne ke liye nahi rukti balki wahan par ye dekhne ke liye ki yahan se wo wapis mud kar ja sakta hai turn kar sakta hai ek achhi jagah hai घास को रोंदते हुए उसके ऊपर से वो वापस वहां से चला जाता है एंड अनदर टू आस्क दी वे टू वेहर इट वॉज फॉन्स एक और कार होती है लेकिन इसका पर्पस क्या है वॉट इज द इंटेंशन इसकी इंटेंशन ये है कि वो सिर्फ ये पूछना चाहता है कि ये जो रास्ता है 
یہ کہر کس سائڈ میں کس طرف جائے گا سو دیٹ واز دا انٹینشن آف دیٹ کار اینڈ ٹو آس اینڈ ون ون مور کار اپ اسٹاک ہے دے جسٹ آسک سیل اے گیلن او گیس گیلن او گیس انگھن پیٹرول ڈیزل دے جسٹ آسک دیٹ دے ہیو اینی پیٹرول اور ڈیزل اور اینی فیول دے کوڈنٹ ناؤ دس از دی ایکسپریشن آف دی نارتھ سائڈ اونر اس کروسلی غصے کے ساتھ فل آف اینگر وہ کہتا ہے دے کوڈنٹ ان کے پاس یہ نہیں ہے They had none redundancy. ان کے پاس یہ سب چیزیں نہیں ہیں ریڈنٹکسی کیا تمہیں دیتا نہیں ہے کیا دکھائی نہیں دیتا کہ دے ڈنٹ ہیو اینی فیول سو ان دس ٹینجر یو نو دیر آر سیورل کار ایون دو اسٹاک بٹ نن آف دی کار جسٹ پرچیز سم تھنگ فرام دی روڈ سائڈ اسٹینڈ اونر اوکے سو یو ہیو ٹو ٹیک دس ٹینجر ویری کیئرفلی and let me tell you one more stanza is also remaining we will certainly discuss on that particular stanza and have uh, to look all those questions of this poem and the figure of speech in the later part till then okay have a nice day